Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Massey chess game by the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. And in this chess game, his opponent was Leonid Shamkovic, the very strong Russian chess grandmaster. He later became American and this chess game was played in 1972 in the USSR chess championship, which Mikhail Tal easily won this championship without losing a single game. So this is Mikhail Tal at his best. Let's see what happened in this chess game. Tal starts the game with e4. We have c6, the Karakan defense, knight to c3, and we have the Steinitz variation of the Karakan defense. Knight to f3, knight from g to f6, and developing the pieces, charging at the center, and attacking the knight, defending, bishop goes back, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, pushing the pawn, and Mikhail Tal castled from the queen side with lining the rook with the queen. So queen to c7, king to b1, not allowing bishop check and exchanging the bishops. So also black castled and in this position Mikhail Tal played an annoying looking move. Well, he played knight to e4. So in this position Mikhail Tal is threatening to capture the bishop because if queen takes knight then bishop takes on h7 and winning the queen. So we have bishop to e5, but in this position, if capturing the knight, then queen takes on e4 and how to defend the checkmate threat. Without weakening the, uh, the dark squares with pushing the pawn, and if pushing the pawn, then capturing on e6, check. So if g6, then h4, and the h pawn is marching, and this looks terrifying against Mikhail Tal. So after castling knight to e4 and threatening to capture the bishop, queen takes knight, bishop takes on h7 and then capturing the queen. So bishop to e5, but in this position Mikhail Tal played another very dangerous move. It's a dangerous move for black because Mikhail Tal after he pushed the f pawn, this is wrecking the pawn structure of black, so deflecting the bishop. And bishop can't go back because of capturing the bishop. Queen takes knight, bishop takes on h7. So bishop takes on f4, and this is damaging the pawn structure in the king's side, deflecting the bishop, and then checking the king. And if uh, blocking with the bishop, then h4. So king over, and then attacking the bishop, defending, and it is white to move. Well, Mikhail Tal played a Mikhail Tal move. He sacrificed the bishop. Bishop takes on h7. Boom. We have f5. If capturing the bishop, then lifting to rook up and rook over, getting checkmated, how to defend? This is the only defense, and then check, and how to defend now? So this is the only defense for prolonging the torture, and then rook takes on f4, and black is getting checkmated. There is no sensible defense after bishop takes on h7 if king takes bishop so we have f5 but lining the queen with the king king to g7 and lifting the rook up by Mikhail Tal adding one more attacker into the attack so rook over making room for the king because in this position Tal is threatening to play queen to g5 and if king takes bishop rook over getting checkmated if king goes back then lining the rook with the king and Black is getting knocked out very soon, so we have rook over and then g4 by Mikhail Tal. He wants to open, so we have f4. If capturing the pawn, then queen takes on g4, and if king goes back, then check and getting checkmated. So after this move, we have pushing the pawn and targeting the dark square, so escaping. And then Mikhail Tal played another Mikhail Tal move. Well, he played well, rook takes on f4. After bishop takes on h7, we see another Tal move. Bishop takes on f4, what else? And then queen to h6. This is deflecting the bishop. After king to e7, checking the king, only move. And white played another very strong move in this position. What would you do if you had the white pieces? Or 
Okay, so this is what Mikael Tal played, g6, and how to defend? g7, checkmate, so bishop to h6, let's play a random move, then g7, and getting checkmated. So after g6, defending with the bishop, but Mikael Tal played a move, and black resigned. He played rook to f1, and black resigned, how to defend? Queen takes, queen takes, and then rook takes on f7, checkmate. So if b5, then queen takes on f7, rook takes on f7, checkmate. And if rook to e7, adding one more defender into the uh, against this attack, then queen to h8, checkmate. And if rook to d8, making room for the king, then check, check, check and we have this beautiful but very simple king hunting and black is getting checkmated again there is no defense so what do you think about this amazing chess game by Mikhail Tal first we see bishop takes on h7 and then look at this move rook takes on f4 and then check pushing the pawn and Mikhail Tal makes it look so easy after rook to f1 black resigned because of the possible continuation that we all know and what do you think about this amazing chess game by the magician from riga and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye